hello what's up in this tutorial i'll show you how i do my color grading within capture and how i did the color grading for this series of images i know so many of you love this and i want to show you how i did the color grading for these very images in capture one and i'm using capture one 21 as you can see right here and those that always ask me a software i use when it comes to color grading i use capture one and i prefer to use it um rather than using Lightroom. So let's go in with this very tutorial. So the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to Capture One is coming to the basic adjustments or the high dynamic range. And if I told you missing any tool within your Capture One, you can simply right click on the right hand side or where your adjustments are and simply come add to and add whichever tool you're missing within your Capture One. So the very first thing I tend to do is come into the helix and I take the helix all the way down. And this gets me back the information within the blown out areas and i do the same for my whites because this image was an outdoor image and the sun was coming from this direction and it blew out the details that were on this kind of decoration or backdrop so that is what i have to do when it comes to the high dynamic range option and after that i'm just going to come to my contrast and add a little bit of contrast within the image just like that and i'll add a little bit of clarity of around three and I'm going to open up my shadows slightly just like that and that is going to make the image even better so after doing that the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to come my dehaze and I'm going to simply take that up so don't take it all the way up because that is going to add or make you lose details within the blacks of your image so just going to undo that and I'm just going to take it slightly up up to around five five looks good and after doing all that so I'm done playing around with the basic adjustments on this image and i've been working on them on the background layer so the next thing when it comes to color grading and in capture one in general i always tend to do the color grading on a different layer so that when i tend to mess up or when i want to delete a given color grading from some areas i can eliminate that as opposed to when you do it on the background layer so i'm just going to come right here and I'm going to come to the plus icon and I create a new field adjustment layer. So basically you right click here and you create a new field adjustment layer. And that is the layer on which you are going to be doing the color grading of this very image. So after doing that, I'm going to come down here where it says to my color editor. And under color editor, the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to color grading, I tend to work on the skin tones first before I can do any ad other adjustments on the image so i'm just going to come to color editor right here and you can see we have basic advanced and skin tone and for this case i'm just going to be using the skin tone and the basic options so i'm just going to come and i select the skin tone area and just come and click left click on the eyedropper tool or color picker tool so for this case i just want to make the uniformity or make the skin tones very uniform for this very image so when it comes to making the skin tones uniform i'm just going to zoom all the way in by using ctrl command plus and i zoom into the image and i'm going to simply get a representation of the skin tone that i want to even out or have that uniformity so i'm just going to come and i'm going to choose a given area and for this case i just want the skin to look just going to sample this area or an area right here and what that is going to do it is going to give me a range within the color so you can see this area has a little bit of yellows oranges magentas and some kind of reds so what i'm going to do i'm just going to zoom all the way out so for this case i don't want the this dress to change so much so what i'm going to i'm just going to come to view select a color range and i simply turn it on and you can see the dress is part of the pinks in the image so what i'm going to, i'm just going to come and I slightly drag it out of the pinks and that is going to desaturate that color and also eliminate it so when you turn on the view select current option in capture one it desaturates the rest of the colors that don't fall within the range of the selected range or color range so i'm just going to come and turn this off by clicking on this and i'm going to go straight to uniformity so what the uniformity slider does it makes the colors uniform depending or it uses the colors and makes them uniform in the skin tone area that you sampled so i'm just going to come to uniformity and i'm going to take it all the way up just like that as i'm looking at the image and in order to complete 
complement that rather i'm just going to come to saturation and also take the saturation up and that is going to make the skin look a little bit better and uniform but as we are doing this you can see it has added magenta so i'm just going to take this up as i'm looking at the skin tone and right now the skin looks very uniform i'm just going to take that a little bit further the skin looks uniform but it has added magenta to the image so we are going to come up here where it says amount and you can see when you move the hues towards the left hand side it adds magentas to the image and the opposite of magenta is green so just want to eliminate the magentas from the skin tone by adding greens to the image so i'm just going to come the hues reset that and just add a little bit of greens to the image to eliminate the magentas within the skin tones in this case so that looks okay and i'm going to take the saturation further up just like that and use ctrl command minus on the keyboard to zoom out so we are done unifying the skin color or skin tones of our subjects right here or our models in this case so what i'm going to do next i'm just going to come to my basic adjustments and under basic the very first color i'm going to handle is the oranges remember we still have a little bit of the magentas within the skin tones and the skin tones are usually more we usually have more oranges present in skin tones so for this case i'm just going to come and hue the oranges towards uh, the yellow side you can see that is going to make the skin look better then i'm also going to come to the reds and hue them towards the oranges just like that and that is going to make the skin look a little bit better so right now the skin is now uniform and we have a better looking skin for our models right here so we can as well come and simply take up the saturation of our oranges slightly and also take the lightness slightly down to our negative one and that looks better for this case so i feel like uh, the top of our little girl right here is a little bit contradicting with the color grading process so what I'm going to do, I'm basically going to come to this option which says uh, the yellows and I'm going to take the saturation of the yellows all the way out of the image. And that is going to make the little dress complement most of the flowers and most of the things that exist within the image. And this looks great. So the next thing that we want to handle when it comes to this image and color grading it is going to be the green. So I'm just going to go straight to the green color in this case so this is the green color and click on it so i'm just going to simply take the hues all the way towards the aquas and that is going to make the image a little bit pop when it comes to the greens and it's going to make it more on the aqua side but this doesn't look nice to me so i'm just going to come to the saturation and i'm going to simply take down the saturation of uh, this color so just doing that it is going to make both the greens in the balloons and right here look or blend even better and more so that looks okay to me so the next thing i'm going to do when it comes to color grading i'm going to come to the color balance and under color balance i'm just going to go straight to my shadow areas so we have the shadow midtones and highs so for the shadow areas i'm just going to come and add a little bit of this color right here the science towards, towards the shadows but that is going to cool down the image so for this case i'm just going to take it up around there and you can see when you take this all out towards the edge is going to increase on the intensity and taking it back towards the center it is going to reduce on the intensity of that color so that is what you have to do and when it comes to intensity you can as well use or reduce on the intensity by dragging this slider up or down and you can see it either decreases or increases on the intensity of a given adjustment on the images and that looks okay so i'm going to come to the midtones and simply add a little bit of oranges towards my midtones just like that and that looks okay to me so i'm just going to come straight to the highlights and simply add a little bit of greens to my highlights just like that complement the skin color or skin tones so this is basically what i did when it came to color grading this image so let's look at a, a quick before and after for the color grading of this image so this was the image before and this is the after before after before after 
so in order to apply the adjustments on different images what i simply did i came to adjustments and simply went to copy adjustments and i came to the rest of the images that i showed and i simply came to adjustments and apply adjustments and that got uh, the job done for me and you can see this looks the same as the one we color graded before so basically this is what i did and this is all for this story and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you know subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating